step into the future of Indian travel as we unveil the monumental marvel that is reshaping the nation's transportation landscape. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor, affectionately known as the Bullet Train, this is not just a rail line. It's a journey into a new era of efficiency and speed. Join us as we dig deeper into this ambitious venture that promises to redefine the way we move and connect in India. Before we start, we would like to give a special thanks to our sponsor power for sponsoring this video. Stop overpaying for electricity. Cut your bills in half and boost your home's value with solar. Get free installation and a year of free electricity by using my link in the description. Let's get back to the video. Unveiling the project. We're talking about the Mumbai Ahmedabad high-speed rail project and it's currently under construction. Being driven forward by the National High-Speed Rail Corporation limited the mind-boggling part. This project comes with a hefty price tag of RS 1.1 lakh crore, which is roughly around $15 billion. It's funded through a 50-year loan of 88,087 crore from Japan. And get this, they're offering an incredibly low interest rate of just 0.1%. Now, that's a deal you don't see every day. But don't start the countdown just yet, because repayments for this colossal loan are scheduled to commence 15 years after this high-speed marvel becomes operational. This project is a game-changer in the world of transportation, and it's set to connect the bustling metropolis of Mumbai, Maharashtra, to the vibrant city of Ahmedabad, Gujarat. The first glimpse. So right, folks, let's dig into what we're all really curious about. When can we hop on this futuristic train? Well, officially, they've set the deadline for December 2023. But there's a twist in this tale. Due to some seriously tricky land acquisition stuff, especially in Maharashtra, we might have to wait a bit longer. The full shebang might not be ready until 2030. But hold on to your excitement because there's light at the end of the tunnel. The good news is that the first leg of this high-speed adventure, set in the vibrant state of Gujarat, is gearing up to be operational much sooner. We're talking about 2026, folks. So, while we might have to be a little bit patient for the whole deal, we'll get a taste of the bullet train experience much earlier than expected. So, mark your calendars for 2026, and let's get ready to be a part of India's high-speed rail revolution. Navigating the terrain. Let's check how this bullet train is going to move through the land. It's not your everyday train track, let me tell you that. We've got a mix of different setups here. First up, they've got these tracks up high, elevated to be exact. That's a whopping 468 kilometers of track that's elevated off the ground. Imagine looking out the window and seeing the world from a whole new perspective. Then, they've got some tracks going underground, about 27 kilometers of them. But here's the kicker. There's a section that goes under the sea, a full two kilometers of it. That's like an underwater adventure, right in the middle of your train journey. And of course, they've got some tracks right at ground level, 13 kilometers of them to be precise. So you'll get a bit of everything, high, low, and right there on the ground. How is this incredible project getting its funds? Well, it's like a team effort. They've got support coming in from the government of Japan, the government of India, and even the governments of Maharashtra and Gujarat are chipping in. So you see, this bullet train isn't just a straight shot from one place to another. It's a whole adventure taking you through different terrains and landscapes. It's one, stations that bridge cities. This high-speed rail corridor, also known as the bullet train, has 12 strategically placed stations that are like lifelines for travelers. These stations are going to be absolute game changers, making your journey smoother and more convenient to Mumbai. Our journey begins in the heart of Mumbai, the Bandra Kurla complex station, which will be a bustling hub for travelers. Three, Thane. As we speed ahead, we'll make a stop in Thane, ensuring that both major cities and smaller towns are connected. Four, Virar. Heading out towards Gujarat, we'll pause in Virar, a key station for commuters in this region. Five, Boisar. The Boisar station will provide another vital link for those traveling between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Six, Vapi. As we cross borders and states, the VP station will serve as a crucial stop for passengers. 7. Bilimora. Bilimora will be yet another station connecting these two vibrant cities and boosting the ease of travel. 8. Surat. Surat, famous for its textile industry, will be a major station, further enhancing connectivity in the region. 9. Barak. With Barak Station, we're bridging gaps and making travel more accessible for everyone. 10. Vadodara. This station will be a significant transit point for passengers, especially those heading towards Ahmedabad. 11. Anand Nadiad. 
An Anne Glady ad station ensures that even smaller cities get to be a part of this high-speed journey. Ahmedabad, the city of Ahanabad itself, gets a magnificent station central to the whole project. 12. Sabarmati. Finally, we reach the Sabarmati station, a pivotal hub and the last stop on our journey. Now, here's the exciting part. These stations aren't just ordinary train stops. The trains on this route will be zooming at remarkable speeds, with a maximum of 350 kilometers per hour and operational speeds of 320 kilometers per hour. The track gauge sticks to the standard 1,435 millimeter, and the signaling system employs continuous automatic train control. So, as you can see, these stations are not just bridges between cities. They are the gateway to a new era of fast and efficient rail travel. But the heart of the system. Talking about the heart of this incredible system, the Shinkansen F5 trains, these trains are the real stars of the show, designed to whisk you away at jaw-dropping speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour. That's faster than most of us can even imagine. But it's not just about speed. These trains are all about comfort and efficiency. They've been built to accommodate up to 750 passengers, making sure that everyone on board has a comfortable journey. Imagine zipping along at such incredible speeds, all while sitting back in a spacious and well-designed cabin. Talking about safety, the engineers behind this project have thought of everything, including the unexpected. They've equipped the rail corridor with something called the Urgent Earthquake Detection and Alarm System, or URIDAS for short. This is a real game-changer in safety technology. In the rare event of an earthquake, Eureta's automatically triggers the emergency brakes. It's like having an extra set of eyes and ears, making sure that you're in safe hands no matter what. Stopping the journey. The Operational Control Center, stationed at Sabarmati, is the nerve center of this grand operation. These are two service options at your fingertips. First up, we've got high speed, clocking in at 2.5 hours for your journey. If you're in a hurry, rapid high speed will get you there in a swift two hours. These services are the lifeblood, stitching together major cities and bustling business hubs. It's all about efficient and speedy travel, folks. Progress on the horizon. Time for some fresh updates, straight from the construction zone. We've hit some major milestones, like those completed lodging buildings at the Vatadara Training Center. Over at the Sabarmati ASR Terminal Station, Works buzzing along nicely. Now here's a nugget. Concrete pouring work on the main line's foundation got underway on February 10, 2021. Things are really picking up pace with construction activities in full swing across five civil packages within Gujarat. Remember those codes? They're C4, C5, C6, C7, and C8. It's all hands on deck and we're making strides towards that finish line. Ticket to the future. While the exact prices are still being ironed out, you can expect them to be around 1.5 times the cost of a first-class act ticket on India's current railways. The official fare structure, along with all the details and rules, will be unveiled closer to when this high-speed wonder officially kicks into gear. So stay tuned for more updates on how you can hop on board. This futuristic ride, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for being here, and we'll catch you next time.